Hey guys, this is Comic Uno, and today I'm doing a review for Shadowhunters, uh, a little bit of a late review, but yeah, let's start talking about this show. Uh, now, I know that this is a very popular book. Um, I have two really good friends, Jeremy and Mimi, who love the series, have been really excited to watch this, and uh, my good friend Mimi, she actually... Um, She's read the books for a really long time, and, and she I went to go see the, the movie with her when that was released. So I know a little bit about the books. I did, I've did never read them personally. I'm not part of the fandom, but I, again, know a lot of people that love these books. So I'm like, all right, let me give, give the show a try. And also, I mean, I, I like a lot of the ABC Family slash Freeform shows, or at least I like to try them. And uh, I thought, hey, Supernatural stuff, let me, let me give it a try. So what is this show all about? It's about this girl named Clary, and uh, she really gets into this world very quickly of demons and other things. She finds out their mother's been lying to her all her life, and uh, that she's part of this shadow hunter world, and she's able to see other shadow hunters. Uh, and and someone named Valentine is uh, is looking for this mystical cup, and everyone wants it. We don't really know why, but Sure, everyone wants it. Uh, we get introduced to another group of shadow hunters that I guess is going to help Clary out with her journey, and then her best friend Simon, a little bit of her mother, and other people related to her mother who are, I guess, also shadow hunters. I don't know. So uh, that is pretty much what's going on in the whole episode is Clary realizing what this world is and what to do with her newfound abilities, I guess. Alright, so as you can see as describing the plot, it has a lot going on in the show, I'll say that. Um, now again, what I said earlier in the beginning of my review, I know this is a beloved story. I know a lot of people like this story, and I think for people who have read the books, they understand the mythology. So I am reviewing this as someone who has never read the books, and I thought they had way too much in this episode, and as you saw, I was struggling to tell you the plot because it was all over the place. I, I don't know who who the shadow hunters are. What is this world? It kind of feels like they're trying to be Buffy with all these demon stuff, and I'm like, all right, what are shadow hunters? What? You just threw me in here. Uh, and now, one flip of the coin, I feel like you're like Clary. You jump into this world, you have no idea what it is. But as someone who's just watching a television show and, you know, you want someone to watch the next episode, they did not give me enough to say, yeah, I'm so interested in this world. Another big flaw of that is the characters themselves. Um, maybe it's the acting, maybe it's the script, but I did not feel connection to really any of the characters because you're jumping so much into the mythology they're describing this cup they're just doing everything in this one episode um you have a whole season it's not a movie uh they had the movie that was two hours you had a whole you know the book how to be explained in those two hours i feel like they they it wasn't the greatest adaption to television now i'm not saying that the story was bad um because i think there's a lot of possibilities with the story but the way they adapted it, it didn't feel like a television show adaption. It just felt like everything you needed in, in that one book had to be in this one episode. And I don't think that was the right way to go with this as someone who's never read the books because I was very confused, honestly. And I, I needed to feel attached to these characters. And, and the first 20 minutes really should do that. And they started to do that in the beginning. You're like, oh, cool, this 18-year-old you know, girl, she has a birthday. And, you know, of course, something's going to happen. It's her birthday, and this is a supernatural show. My favorite part of the show, I will say, is Simon and Clary's relationship. I really like their friendship. And I think the best character who had the most fleshing out, or maybe was just the best actor, was Simon's character. I, I, you know, I liked his sarcasm, I thought he had some good timing, um, and I liked how he worried about Clary, and I, and I liked that dynamic. I think that was definitely the best part of the show. Um, Visual-wise, I will say that the effects could have been a lot better. And uh, the first fight scene, I didn't really like at all. There's one point you could kind of tell that the girl's hand was in, in the camera, and, and it was supposed to be a punch. 
like the choreography was kind of off there. I did like the swords though. I thought the glowing swords looked cool and the sound effects were cool for that. And I think the choreography did improve as the episode went on. So I thought that was good. But the first choreography I didn't, or the first fight scene I didn't love. And I still like kind of confused with what this whole, why they have to be in a club. I'm kind of confused at that. Um, I think they tried to do some grounding elements here, and I like that, and I hope they could stick with that. But from the first episode, I feel like it's just going to be this mystical cup. I think even though they've tried with Simon's character to have those grounded elements, they needed more. Maybe the high school element would have been better for that, to say, oh, she's in high school, she needs that life, but also she needs to fight demons. Now, one thing I will say, um, an old ABC Family show was a couple years back, Nine Lives of Chloe King, also based on a show, um, on a on a young adult novel book. I love the show. Now, it didn't last as long as it should have, in my opinion. It was um, canceled after 13 episodes. Um, but that is kind of how you do a first episode. And honestly, look at Nine Lives of Chloe King and look at this show, in this, in this pilot, because I feel like they're very, very similar, but Nine Lives of Chloe King is the direction I would have went. A first episode that delves a little bit into the mythology, but really is just a character portrait. You want to like these characters, and I, I, I fell in love with all those characters right away in Nine Lives of Chloe King. Here, I, again, the, the, it was kind of hard to get into the characters, and that might have been the script. I feel like there was a lot of overacting in the episode, uh, so... When, I think for me, when I, it, when the episode was over and I didn't really care about the preview, that's where I'm like, I want to like this world, I really do, because I, I want to feel what the fans feel from the book, and I, I'm obviously going to give it more, more of a chance, I'm going to watch more episodes, because I think there is potential, um, uh, because you do have this mystical world, and, and again, if you could have a grounded element and bring her into the mystical world, it can be fun. I kind of like the mother-daughter relationship in the beginning, but then, you know, who knows what's going to happen to the mother uh, and I do think this was an improvement from the movie which is great um, so as you can see I, I think this the, the pilot had a lot of flaws it, but I really hope that it, it does well and, and I'm gonna continue it to see where it goes um, so that's my opinion on shadow hunters please let me know in the comments below um, if you read the books if you didn't read the books how you felt about the pilot um, so this is comic you know and I will see you guys later don't forget to follow me on Twitter don't forget to like my Facebook page also description below there's links for my comic book like father like daughter and don't forget to like the facebook page of like father like daughter i'll see you guys later